So anyway, this is the video that everybody's been waiting for. Uh, this is the module that is going to speed up the windows. I'm going to call it the window riser. Get it? Because they have the window turbo and the window racer. So anyway, before we get the video started, because I know you guys are dying to see the window speed it upper thing, um, here's another one of the projects that I'm working on. This is a Beltec 2-inch drop spindle, which I plan on modifying to fit a fixed caliper. Uh, I'm considering doing either a C3 style 4-piston or maybe a Brembo or OEM uh, calipers. Uh, you can find a really nice set of 6-pistons or 4-pistons. For under six hundred dollars, and then all I would need to do here is a bracket. Um, this is on the, its early stages because uh, I don't know if you remember from one of my way way earlier videos. I was planning on doing a Willwood hub with a Willwood uh, hat and disc. And then modify the spindle to fit their kit for an A body but the problem I ran into is that on a stock wheel it does not clear the welds inside of the <laughs> inside of the wheel so I'm deciding a different approach and uh, these are just kind of parts that are sitting collecting dust and uh, while I get to them but anyways this is something that might be coming up uh, fixed four or six piston calipers on a stock or drop spindle for the G body. And on to the window speed it upper thingamajigger. Which, by the way, you can thank Damien because uh, our collective mind uh, did the homework and all of this and uh, we pretty much uh, narrowed it down to a couple different uh, options that you could use to speed this up. Now, this is something that comes in a bunch of different version sizes but they all do the same thing it's pretty much a converter and it goes from i believe it's uh 12 volts all the way up to 32 volts but you do not need 32 volts uh try not to go above 20. so anyways now that i've done my cheesy intro uh pretty much this is the meat and potatoes of this uh device um there's not much to it uh again I have the link in the description to this one or something similar. Now, the one thing I will warn you about is that when you order these, uh, they tend to change them. For example, this one doesn't have the connector here that it would usually have. This is this is what you get in the mail, and you can get really fancy with it, solder things around, or you can use these connectors right here and go about your merry way. So, pretty much the first thing I did was actually remove the four screws that are holding the heat sink in. And once you have removed those, uh, pretty much the heat sink comes off. There's uh, some spacers. So, without dropping any of the screws, uh, here's what's going on underneath. Uh, these uh, two surfaces get hot. It's nice insulators there. And uh, pretty much this is what you're going to bolt onto the inside of your box. And then next I'm going to show you how it's supposed to be wired. Now, here you can see the same board. Uh, this one's already terminated with the wires underneath. But uh, here's the cool thing. You can actually get away with just screwing these two over here. And then the only one that you may need to solder is this one unless you can, I don't know, get creative. And uh, so as you can see, this one right here is soldered to this end of the fuse. So this, this is the same board side by side pretty much. And this is what comes out of, the, out of the bag. This is what you need to do to pretty much make your window. So now, this is gonna be the part where you need to pay attention to what's going on here. So you have output negative, output positive, input negative, input positive, or well, vice versa. Input positive, input negative, it doesn't matter. What matters is that both the, the grounds are on the same circuit. So you have 
input and output on the same ground wire, which is this one, and if you follow it, you have one, one wire. So if I check continuity here, there's gonna be continuity here and there. Now, the other two are the ones that need to be separate. The red one is gonna be your 12 volt input, and the other black one that is going with this one is going to be your whatever voltage output. And pretty much, it's taking power in from the car through here and then going through the circuit and outputting a higher voltage. Uh, these things are rated up to 10 amps and I'm gonna tell you right now, you do not need to crank it all the way up to get a noticeable effect. Um, now, this is kind of cor uh, cutting corners. So if the motor is bad already, uh, you're, you're only prolonging the inevitable. The motor will eventually fail and yeah, so for example, even though I made this and it works just as any of those out there in the market, I don't feel the need to run this. Now, if I put it on my brand new window motors, they, they're they pretty quick. They're almost like brand new car quick. But I don't feel the, the need of putting the extra strain on the gearing and uh, the mechanism overall. Now, the other thing that you'd really need to pay attention to out of this video is these adjusters. Uh, one's for the current, the other one's for the voltage. They're all clearly marked. Everything is actually clearly marked here. So if you follow the video somewhat, you'll be able to see, you'll be able to knock this out on your own without uh, spending too much time. Now, the thing with these two is that I would try not to go above 16 volts and then mess with the current until the window speed up. And if you're maxing out the current, which is 10 amps max, um, if you're maxing out the current, and it's still not speeding up your window, then you can go up in the voltage. Again, this is uh, something that I'll, it'll let you fine tune the speed of your window. I wouldn't crank it all the way up. I would mess with it to a comfortable speed uh, because if you crank it all the way up, trust me, this thing is gonna send that window flying through the roof. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, put a fuse holder here just for safety. Um, it's a 20 amp. Uh, it doesn't really even need a 20 amp, but if you put a 10 amp, you'll be more than safe. Um, again, this whole thing is rated to 10 amps. So yeah, I, I got this one from Amazon and you can make it yourself. As you can see, it's not like a, a nasty lead or anything. I actually use uh, SXL, SLX wire and everything. So, uh, pretty much like a decent quality, cheap piece. So this is a, this is pretty much the window in a nutshell. Uh, very easy, pretty straightforward. Again, maybe $40 worth of parts. And then I'm going to put it back together and show you what it looks like. <laughs> So anyway, there you have it. This is what it looks like. Uh, pretty much it's just this without the, the heat sink bolted on the inside. Um, you could actually get away with just wrapping this in tape if you wanted to. Um, just, I mean, as long as you leave the heat sink out or attach it to the bottom of this, like, it'll work. Just, again, this is a... <laughs> You're using something here that was not intended for this, so uh, yeah. Um, keep that in mind when you're working on your own, making your own out of this stuff right here. Um, I will tell you that the ones that you see out in the market, this is exactly what you're gonna find in them. Um, there's no other way around it, uh, unless it's like an, an alternate battery pack or something, which even then you still have to have a way to charge it and yada, yada, yada. So, without getting it too complicated, again, I'll be putting a link in the description. And uh, yeah, uh, pretty much just get as creative as you want. You can make it that big or that's uh, as much as that small. Um, it's just up to your level of creativity. All in all, you're looking at probably about maybe $40 worth of uh, parts and materials. 
Um, the circuit, it's, the circuit board itself, the converter itself was roughly thirteen dollars. The case, I think it was ten, and then you have wire ends and um, fuse holder and the wire, of course. So yeah, I hope you found this video very useful. Uh, now you can uh, speed up your windows. Uh, I will put the disclaimer out there. Do this at your own risk. Um, I particularly do not like the way that this operates because this is technically on all the time when the car is on. But again, I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Please subscribe. Hit the like button.